Hey and welcome, I'm Hammy and Baptiste is live on the public test realm so I'm going to be jumping into a game explaining his abilities briefly and just chatting to you about how Baptiste plays and how he feels. I've played a few games so I'm a little bit more familiar with him now. I'll quickly go through his abilities as we play. So left click, three round burst. Uh, think of this clip size as being a little soldier-esque. Uh, his attack damage is a bit weaker. Um, these three round bursts uh, have a little bit of recoil as well. Now, the right click is a biotic healing grenade. Now, this is an 8 meter projectile radius for the healing. Pretty sweet. It kind of moves like um, a bit faster than Zarya's ult or the frag launcher of Junkrat, but its damage can be absorbed by various. That's a right click kill. You have exo boots. You hold down crouch, you see this bar fills up. You've got a couple of seconds, then press space bar to throw yourself up in the air. Not really a good engage, but a good escape. Not, not a hugely good escape because of the verticality, but also a repositioning tool. Note that you've got a little bit of time there before you move. You then have a, a shift, which is regenerative burst. This puts a dot on everyone around you. And they can then run away and the, uh, the hot, the heal over time, will keep the healing coming. So that's a nice little healing tool that you can use as well. Last but not least, you have two very cool abilities. You've got the immortality field and then also the amplification matrix. So if your team is about to take a big ult, take a reaper ult, Take a Junkrat tire, throw down the immortality field. Now what it does is it will throw a little debris in the air, and that debris, as I press shift to get a hot on my team and heal here, um, is very much like a Reese's Bongo. It can be destroyed, but while it's alive, your team can't drop below 20% health. Okay, right, so that's everything. Oh, no. well, I'm gonna this is a perfect time. Perfect time, look. See see this tat, see that? It locked everyone in. That was very, very cool. It locked everyone in at the 20% against the tire. It's a nice little illustration of things. So as I try to get some Grens on that fire before she flies up in the air, and then turn around and get some damage on our friend there. Let's get some heals in here. So you'll see when it's right and you throw it out that uh, your team effectively, and now we can show off the amplification matrix. Oh, that was bad placement by me. I'm always not good with that. Remember that you place it very much like you place a Symmetra wall. Q will uh, reorientate it and you need to make sure that it's placed right. Similar for the um, immortality field as well, you throw it out like you would sort of a, a grenade. Think of it like maze uh, ults that you throw out. You need to make sure you throw it out in the right kind of way. But these three round bursts, if you get some headshots, doing, as you can see, a reasonable amount of quite tasty damage here. So there's an amplification, there's the uh, immortality field. Can you see how people's health bars had a little piece of, oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. You can see how people's health bars, the bottom 20% have a little locked off a piece of UI around them. It's like a highlight. And that highlight means they can't drop below that. Uh, the actual immortality field generator itself has 200 HP. So that can be killed away. Uh, for the alt, which I threw so badly, amplification matrix actually doubles the healing and also the damage of friendly projectiles that go through it. It is, however, somewhat limited in that it will only work, of course, if you can fire through that shield. So people do have a good way of as I try and grenade this fire. Couple, two, three grenades topping off that fire. As you can see, he can throw out, with his 10 grenades, he can throw out some good right-click healing, and you've got a reasonable amount of flexibility in terms of, it's quite a tolerant area here, in terms of if you right-click this eight meter radius. So a reasonably sort of big radius there. But of course, uh, Batiste, uh, when he gets a bit behind, small impression here, Okay, you can see the, um, right now, if I put up my field here, and you see the field's uh, length, I've just thrown up my field absolutely miles away by accident. And completely wasted it. Again. So, you need to make sure that you target this field properly, because I keep thinking I'm placing it closer, but you can see it was placed so far away. We could fire through it there. And with the um, amplification matrix, it's worth noting that it doesn't actually block damage. It's not a shield whatsoever. Dead mercy. Uh, with Batiste, it's sometimes very easy to get in tunnel vision. And you're very quickly damaging, or you're, you're, you're too busy damaging, or you're too busy right-click grenading. Uh, like Arna, the switching between the two is absolutely the charm. Symmetra just happily charging herself up there. Oof. Ouch. Miss McCree having some fun. Just yoinking my head there. Ouch. Well, it could be so that is Batiste's kit in a nutshell, as we can do this little jump, throw ourselves up here. So you can see it's a slow relocate, really, when it comes to it. Let's 
try and help out this hamster. Fire at will. So it's very easy to throw out his abilities like the amplification matrix, uh, like the uh, immortality field. Slightly in the wrong place if you're not careful. You need to basically point where you want them to be landing. So I'm going to try and fail with those a little bit less. I'm going to talk a little bit less and try and aim and focus a little bit more and comment on a few things as we go. So one thing you can see here, look, the right click, not healing me. Left click, however, uh, the shift, however, will. You can see that hot effect topping me up as well as Hamondo here. Right, let's see if we can get a good amplification metrics on this occasion. Grid's in the top there. Don't know if it's going to save McCree. No, not going to save McCree. Might be able to save Private Farah though. Hammond, come on Hammond. There we go. That's better. Now see, I get double healing shooting through here. But however, they also had a field up. <laughs> I was getting damage poured into me. So as you can see, this rectangle, uh, you can have a state of affairs apparently whereby um, it's only friendly projectiles, but say if uh, you fire a projectile through, again, you and the other team deflects it back, and again, you and your team deflects it back again, it can charge and charge and charge. So you can have a state where it gets more and more and more damage as it goes. Um, as for the actual effectiveness of this, I'm in a very bad position. Um, Batiste, with his three amp burst, if you fire through an invulnerable field and get like a, cup, a few chest shots on a 200 health hero, you can easily be taking out a 200 health hero with three shots as Batiste uh, if you get them on target through the amplification matrix. I think, if you do the maths, because the amplification matrix actually doubles the healing or doubles the damage of the projectiles. So I think that means that Widow can body shot, one shot body shot through the matrix. But of course it's a small square. There you go. Let's uh, check the healing on these guys. Now these, these grenades damage is soaked up by shields. So, if a shield's in the way, my grenades are not going to be doing the healing through as far as I understand it. Ouch, 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 ouch. The only way of topping yourself up, and it's expensive one. You can see it doesn't top me up all the way. It's about 150 that hot in total. But we do have a nice little sim shield that we can use. So, this is a very good opportunity. If someone can... So, I'm going to now throw this down. Let's see what we can do with this. Well, everyone's dead, but I will get increased healing and increased damage through the shield. So you can see with that uh, that rectangle for the amplification, it's really just a question of where is where's, where's the situation you're going to be able to place it that means you can get most healing or most damage. So if you're pushing forward on attack for a narrow choke point, then obviously you can throw it just there or just before there. You can send your tank the other side of it. And then um, remember, it's not blocking damage, but if you have your tank uh, sort of the other side of it, then the tank can be healed through it and you can be hiding behind the tank a little bit further back, as you can see. very. You can see that the explosion is, as I said for these grenades, quite tolerant. I can heal these guys up there quite easily. Perhaps not the most aim intensive in that sense. Right, invulnerability. As I throw this down, you can see the locked off bits of the health part again, as I said, behind them. They cannot drop below that 20%. But I need to get a need to get a little shift in here. As you can see, oh, charging pretty fast. So you can see, getting the hills in there. A bit more of a display of healing there. My teleporter is online. Amplification matrix ready. Prepare to fire. So we can amp it up. Not Lucio style. I really want to try and get some damage through this. To show you a little bit of stuff. Now this uh, uh in the teasers, 
Batiste was described as being, you know, a great shot. And he can do some pretty nasty, nasty damage with this anyway. Like I said, it's not quite soldier levels of damage, but it shouldn't be. But if you're landing your three round bursts, and then particularly if you pump it through the matrix, then it hurts. It really does hurt. Land a few headshots of these, and then uh, Batiste is no slouch when it comes to the damage. Right. Can I do this? Uh, problem is that... There you go. Two fields up there, and because I wasn't behind the shield. There you go. Yeah, you see, that was Baptiste just pouring some damage through there. Grabs the headshot on me. <laughs> Keep my attitude positive. A little bit of sort of a hate and slang. Die that was that's pretty cool. So right, Ryan pretty low. This is a good opportunity to see how much healing we can throw out on him. So you can see these clicks, maybe about 50 or so. We're getting right up, but it's taking us like four, six grenades. Very nice. So there you go. That is a little flavor of Batiste. Uh, a lot of fun. What do you think of his abilities? What do you think of his heals? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Not the greatest aim by me, uh, but it's a lot of fun in terms of his style. I think that he's hard to say at the moment because his numbers will certainly be balanced and tweaked. I think he's got some real potential. I think that people are going to have to get used to playing against him. And he can certainly, with a few aims, throw out some great heals. Love to hear thoughts. Uh, do let me know uh, what you think of Batiste in the comments. Thanks very much to my patrons on Patreon for making these videos possible. I'm certainly going to be exploring Batiste's uh, cosmetics and a whole bunch of other things more as he gets more release on the PTR. Cheers for tuning in. I've been Hammy. As always, take it easy.